Hello and welcome to another brand new episode of Boer TV. As usual, I am one of your hosts, Ntwaki Mukete. En my name is Constant van Graan. En vandaag gaan ons weer gesels. Again, you mean the weather, don't you? Jy weet precies wat van ek praat, Ntwaki. Weather patterns are changing at a more radical pace and predicting the weather has become more difficult than ever. Let's go find out more about how this problem is being addressed. Gompie no getla ete la sekolo sa di science tsa thuto fatsi le mafelo mo campusing ya Pochefstroe. Mo eti wa rona ke mo professor Stuart Pickett mo akedi wa sekolo yo a leng moitseo nape wa patlisiso wa mufwa wa le faufao. So I think they can be and we in South Africa we've got a long tradition of actually doing weather modification research. And what that entails is trying to understand can we slightly modify the cloud microphysical processes to make rain droplets grow bigger than we, they might have under normal or natural conditions and therefore make the rain clouds rain more, more efficiently? So over the last 10 years, the Climatology Research Group has really tried its best to, to stay engaged internationally on issues linked to two things. The, the first thing is climate change research. In other words, trying to look at um, atmospheric processes that drive climate change. And so one of the things that we focused on today is cloud aerosol interactions. And, and there's a whole feedback mechanism of how uh, the climate is driven by that interaction. The second one is on air pollution. Right? Air pollution is a major issue. In South Africa, we have areas of South Africa that, that have some uh, significant air pollution. And typically that air pollution is affecting the really poorest members of a society. And I hope that we know the situation where I think we know the drugs that we don't expect in 100 years. And so I think that it's specific and I hope that on the moment that it's a, a problem is. I think that on that top actually a winter in fall season it in here the rest of the land is a very good summer season rainfall. Uh, can I not say that the one and the other can impact on the other? Or impact on the other one? But what we can expect is that I think, I believe fully that the climate climatische models for the time of al voorspel that what we in the future will see is more dramatic climate change. We can expect that the droogte the slechtste of the ergste droogte gaan wees soos ons nou in die kaap sien van die jaar. Maar dat ons ook gaan reënval kry waar daar in um, twee dae uh, meer reënval sal val as wat miskien in die hele seisoen sal verwacht. Ja. En so hierdie ek ekstreme kondisies is wat ons nou verwacht van klimaatsverandering, uh, mens aangedrewe klimaatsverandering en um, ek dink dit is wat ons in die kaap nou bezig is om te sien. Weather modification needs to not be seen as a, a fire hydrant. The problem with most people and weather modification, and this is not unique to South Africa, is that there's a drought in an area, and then you get politicians and the farmers phoning you and saying, okay, we have a drought now, come and, come and do your weather modification here and resolve our drought problem. Well, mostly weather modification requires there to be rainfall for us to be able to actually make it rain more. So you can't make a cloud if there isn't a cloud. You can't make a cloud rain if there ain't, is no cloud. So weather modification needs to be a long-term management strategy. And I think that there is a place for weather modification in the world. So for example, we've done weather modification in places like the Middle East, in the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and in those places, there's ex such extreme uh, uh, water shortages that the cost of weather modification are seen as being fairly trivial relative to the amount of water that potentially could be derived out of that. In South Africa and other parts of the world, we really have the opportunity where we don't, under normal conditions, have a shortage of rainfall or rainfall clouds. So those are the perfect places to see whether or not weather modification could help. And we need to do that in the times of the year when we do have rainfall. 
re ka le bogapatlisiso ya mo professor Pickett le sehlopa sa gagwe sa ba batlisisi ba ba ikemiseditseng le fatshe ka bophara re ka nna le tsholofelo gore le tsatsi le lengwe re ka ba akanya tikologo le diphetogo tsa gotlelo le go gotlela ga le fatshe we plek is daar gou verligting vir daardie gedeeltes van ons land wat onder erge droogte gebuk gaan that would be such a blessing. Wouldn't it be wonderful if our global leaders started to realize the threat that global warming poses? That would be such a trump card in an important fight. Nice one, Kunsta. I just had to in Swaki. Until that time, but most likely before, be involved. Be informed. Be, be innovative. innovative. Ciao. Moi blai.